Hey guys, today's video is on the Thunder and Lightning. This is a quick foamy electric airplane I designed back in 2005. And I got the inspiration for this uh, when I found a guy on RC Group named Rob build a scratch built foamy called the Blue Thunder. And what was unique to me about this kit is that he liked to build like dog fighting aircraft and he used a product called Dow Blue Fan Fold Foam. This was very popular back then. It was sold in big bulks in an accordion style fold, thus the Fan Fold Foam name. And it was maybe $20, $30 for this huge supply. You could build tons of airplanes out of it. And there are a lot of Blue Fan Fold Foam airplanes on RC groups. And I liked it, I built several. And I wanted to come up with something unique. And as a big P38 fan, I'm not sure if they're over here, there's one hanging right there. There's pictures all over the place, and probably I'll post a whole bunch of photos uh, while I'm talking right now. But as a fan of the P38, I hadn't found a, a, a simple foamy to build, so I took his fan fold foam idea, which is unique in that he take the crease of the fan fold and make the leading edge. So you took the template of your wing, you put it on two sheets of Dow blue fan fold foam, and then the leading edge is the crease. You trim off the trailing edge of one wing, uh, strengthen it with an arrow shaft, and you were done. And this doesn't take very long to assemble. This is my prototype. This is the first one I ever built, and it still flies today. You can see some hanger rash here and there, uh, and the first one was not painted, so I'll show some clips of that. But I, again, it's a really nice little plane. Um, I know, this is a little um, note, I know this is not a true P38, and any P38 lover out there, like myself, understands that you should have two engines right here, <laughs> okay? I, I know that, but the goal was to make it look like a P38 and make it simple and inexpensive enough so you could just put one motor on the front, throw on a battery on the side, and, and go flying. And it turned out exactly like I hoped. And, and since then, I've built several different versions, and I'm gonna show you around the room what I have here. This is the, the largest one I've built. This is a 48 inch wingspan. It's a dog in the air, it's very heavy, uh, but it's fun and I did it. Um, it's a big 32 honking size motor, um, but it, it's the same concept. You know, it still has the, in fact, this is a pink foam that I've fiberglassed. So I still have the, uh, the KF step there and I've got an arrow shaft strengthening it. Um, I've made a real small one that uh, was a real fast one. I got it to about 75 miles an hour. Uh, this is a night flyer, and this is based on my latest design, version 3.1. This is a laser cut uh, foam design. You don't have to get the laser cut version. Uh, version three is the non uh, spacers and stuff. But this is my first night flyer, and surprisingly, I, I would never flown one at night. It's very simple to fly. Um, and with a 9.5 prop, something that's a little slower, uh, it does really well. Uh, this is, in fact, what I like to show about this one, this is a version 3.1. So you can see that, you know, they're very similar. I haven't gone too far from the original design to the latest one. Uh, we added boom covers, which is a, a nice enhancement. And the nose is obviously a little bit longer. We've modified that. And during this video, I'll tell you about some of the enhancements I've gone through from the prototype to the latest version. So um, with that, Let's uh, speed things up. I'm going to cut to an area where we'll just talk about what you need, and then we'll get to building. 